as you all know, senior citizens in our lives are often the target of solicitors when you least expect it. Here to talk about some of the confusing deals is Glenn Lloyd from Consumer Protection. We have three important things to get to this morning, two scams and one solution. I love it when that happens. <laughs> the first one involves a postcard. Yeah, uh, 65,000 uh, was senior Wisconsin residents got this postcard and it says you're about to, uh, y you may have an annuity that's about to reach its surrender period. Oh my gosh, you know, what's that? You know, it might really get people's attention. Really, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, the, the, the people that sent out the postcards didn't know anything about these seniors. What they were doing was gonna, uh, if they could arrange a meeting between the seniors and insurance agents, they would get $60 for arranging a meeting. So they misled uh, consumers. Uh, uh, and we investigated and the attorney general got an agreement from this company not to solicit any more in Wisconsin. They cannot uh, solicit any more in Wisconsin and paid $15,000 penalty. It's another good reason if you have a senior in your life to help them through their mail. I know that's something that I did oh, once yes. in my life before. Walk through their mail with them. You can really spot those things a little bit easier. E so the yeah. other one was also kind of a, a nasty phone call. Yeah, I mentioned this a couple years ago, but it's mm -hmm. happening and again. Grandpa, who's hard of hearing, gets uh, a, a phone call. This is your grandson. I'm up in Canada. I'm in trouble with the police. Send $2,000. Don't tell mom and dad. You know, and if, if uh, I'm hard of hearing, and sometimes you cannot hear people on Me the too. telephone. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, you know, and if you're a little bit confused, you might do this because you love your grandson. Uh, don't have anything to do with this call. You know, just check with your, your, uh, with your family to find out what's actually going on. Do a little snooping, perhaps, or call a neighbor. That, that's right. Help you figure that out, because I think we have to try to rely on the people around us when we yeah. get to that age. Okay, now, you're holding an event coming up very soon, so seniors can actually sit down and ask you questions along with uh, police chief, is it? Yeah, yeah uh, the triad, uh, local triad, and the RSVP are having a meeting at Black Hawk Church September 9th from 8 to 3. Mm -hmm. Just think, uh, Chief Noble Way is going to be there, the fire department, consumer protection, financial affairs, neighborhood watch. They're going to be talking about gangs and traveling in America. Uh, who should come? Older adults, interested community members, law enforcement, and, and professionals should come to this. All right. Be sure to do that. Thank you so much, Glenn. We're out of time, as usual. We appreciate your help. And it's time for some news, Christine. All right. And how about this morning's money saver? Here's NBC 15's John Stofflet. We are working to save you cash the next time you travel. According to SmartMoney.com, every major airline except Southwest charges a fee to book a flight over the phone. So avoid these fees by booking directly on the airline's website. If you want to stretch out in an exit row, it'll cost you. For example, AirTran charges a flat $20 for those seats. Right now, Southwest is the only airline that doesn't charge you if you change your itinerary. Fees range from $50 for Alaska Airlines to $150 on American and Continental. Now, when it comes to checking luggage, it's a virtual fee for all. According to Smart Money, American, Northwest, Spirit, United, and U.S. Airways all charge $15 for the first checked bag. And that's today's Money Saver.